Hi guys, so I'm going to read um, Marvel Mystery Comics number 3, The Angel Story. So, The Angel by Paul Gustafsson. Voodoo drums of sacrifice beat louder and more vigorously every second, but a few miles from the great city of New York. A girl walks along a dark street towards her home, when suddenly a car drives upon the sidewalk in front of her. Quickly, several men in gowns and hoods over their faces, jump out of the car and seize her. Collecting herself from the terrifying surprise, the girl instantly screams for help. Get that gag around her mouth before someone hears her. Um, as a young one, the sacred one will be pleased. Yes, and no one knows what, happens, what has happened to her. But the girl's screams were not in vain. A figure shrieks across the rooftops as if carried by the wind and jumps to the street in front of the car with the speed of a striking lightning thunderbolt. Instantly, he turns in front of the car in which the girl was being held by the hooded men. The angel, run him down! With the motor wide open, the car crashes into the charging man known as the angel, tossing him clear, tossing him clear across the street. I don't think we'll be bothered by the angel anymore. He hasn't stirred from where he fell. A few moments later, the stunned angel rises to his feet and heads for his car parked nearby. They must have headed north in the direction from where I heard the voodoo drums. While covering the highways to the north, the voodoo, there the angel sees a car resembling that of the abductors turn into an old abandoned road, and he instantly follows. We're being followed. Step on it. it it's the angel. Okay, but he'll be taken care of later. With the angel close behind, the car with the hooded men in turns off the road toward an old stone mansion. As it passes under the arch to the inner court, the driver strikes a lever, and the ground caves in behind them. Watch, watch my fair one, as your rescuer, rescuer drives through the archway. He'll crash into the pit below. No, he'll be killed. Suddenly, a screech of brakes is heard, and the speeding car of the angel shoots through the archway, crashing into the pit below the mansion. Raise the trap door again, and we'll bring the girl to the sacred one. You've killed him, you fiend. What are you going to do with me? Quiet, and you shall soon know. As the door opens, they enter a large room, filled with weird-looking people dancing wildly, to the beat of drums. The hooded men drag the girl toward the altar, where a figure sits on a large throne. On your knees and bow your head, the sacred one rises. As the girl is pushed to the floor, she looks upward at the figure in front of her, and screams in horror. Eee! He's hideous! Quiet. You've done well, my subjects. Have her prepared for the sacrifice to the fire god. At, the, at that moment, several haggy women seize the girl and carry her to one of the adjourning rooms. They're going to burn me alive. No, they can't. Meanwhile, we turn to the pit in which the angel crashed. A figure clings to the wet Surrey wall. The angel. There must be some way out of here. As the angel pushes one of the stones. A secret opening. A tunnel. But where does it lead to? Running through the tunnel as fast as he can, the angel comes into a large room where he's met by a hooded figure. Instantly, the hooded figure throws a hatchet, but the angel steps aside quickly and grabs it in midair. Like a cart, he, said, he sends it streaking back to the hooded figure, pinning him to the stone wall. Where is the girl you kidnapped before I tear your head off? Ugh, in the sacrifice room upstairs. Sacrifice to the fire god. I hope I'm not too late. At the top of the stairs, another hooded guard stands. But before he is able to move, the angel strikes. The door is locked. I'll have to use the windows. In a flash, the angel is outside and climbing up the ivy to the windows of the sacrifice room. Tie her to the stand to prepare the fires of sacrifice. The towering figure... Oh, I... Re yeah, again, these panel layouts are weird, but inside the drums beat more vigorously than ever as the girl is brought to the altar. 
No, I don't want to die. Tie her to the stand and prepare for the fire as a sacrifice. The towering figure of the sacred one rises and gives an order. As the men are about to tie the girl to the stand, a cold wind blows from the windows above, and a huge shadow of an angel fly, falls across the altar. Instantly, drums stop beating and the crowd turns toward the window, cold with horror. But the figure on the altar sees that the angel is human, and his burning eyes turn upward. His eyes, a hypnotist, my strength is leaving me. I'll have to move fast. With all his power, the angel springs from the window sill at the sacred one. The spell of the hypnotic power broken, he instantly grabs the spear nearby. Start the fires! But is unable to strike before the angel does. Picking him up, the angel hurls the sacred one clear across the altar, and next charges at the men about to set fire to the wood below the girl. The angel sends the men sprawling left and right as he crashes into them. Powerful hands quickly grasp the bonds holding the girl, and in a split second sets her free. As the angel picks up the girl, the sacred one pulls a rope. Down, down to the slimy waters below, and the floor uh, drops below them. In a desperate leap, the angel clears the gap to the side where the sacred one is. Instantly. And the, the sacred one hurls a torch stand. A moment later, oh. What order is, so there's an arrow pointing here. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing this is, so a moment later, the angel springs aside. Placing the girl down into a safe spot, the angel turns toward the towering figure. He's not human, he can't be. In, a hu in an attempt to escape, the sacred one runs directly into the gap left by the trap door. At the sight of what happened, the crowd of hypnotized people close in about the altar. We'll have to move fast. There's no telling what they'll do. Sweeping the girl up in his arms, the angel runs across the altar, leaps high above the crowd to the chandelier, and swings to the exit behind them. They aren't following us. Look, they're moving up the altar. The crowds are getting smaller and smaller. Don't look. I better get you out of here. As the angel closes the door, he sees something that turns him cold. An empty altar. It was horrible, like a nightmare. Uh, yes, but it, it will never happen again. It's all ended. So don't miss next thrilling episode of The Angel next issue. So yeah, that's that comic. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. If you guys would like comment or subscribe, would like to like comment or subscribe, that'd be appreciated. Thank you, um, and I'll uh, see you guys later.